Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living where I help women create their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. Today we are doing week 38's grocery haul. Um, today is February, Tuesday, February 15th. So I was away this weekend. I didn't have the opportunity to do my grocery shopping, my meal prep. I had Instacart deliver my food for the week. So I'm gonna do a quick haul, show you guys what I got. And this will probably be the fastest meal prep literally like ever so let's do it all right so i didn't take the time to organize it but basically this is what we have it's not a lot but um so what i have here mixed greens and i have four of these for tuesday wednesday thursday and friday actually not even friday this will be for saturday because friday i have a work function um and then i have fruit pineapples and watermelon and then I have Brussels sprouts, some cilantro, lemons, pickles, ginger, asparagus, grapes, shrimp, and salmon. And that is literally all that I have for the week. I was actually away on a little vacation this past weekend. Um, so this week I am eating green and clean because I've got a lot of, um, fluff I feel that needs to be taken care of. So that's what we're eating this week. Now I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys real quickly how I plan to cook all of this and it's going to be easy. So let's do it. All right. So I went ahead and washed my hands and I took off my scrub top so that I can at least go ahead and get some of this food going. So I have two pans here pans have taken a beating over the years and what I'm going to do is line them with aluminum foil so that will help with easy cleanup hopefully um so now I'm going to go ahead and wash the veggies give me a second I'll be right back all right so I thought that I ordered actually I know I ordered just plain Brussels sprouts but they actually the Instacart person gave me the microwavable ones. I don't know. Do they watch my channel? <laughs> so we're going to throw these in the microwave. So the only thing we have to cook um, is the asparagus. So it's five minutes for the Brussels sprouts to cook. Okay. Now we just need to cut the ends off of the asparagus. So let's do that. I'm actually going to put some in here over in this pan so that they can lay flat because ideally you would like for them to lay flat as flat as possible so that they can cook evenly now at this point you can toss them with olive oil or whatever type of oil that you want I ugh, I don't want a lot of calories but I will use a, just a little bit of oil I'm gonna pour just a cup not a cup a cap I'm just gonna pour a cap for each one okay now if you want more flavor you can definitely add more but because I'm still trying to keep this low calorie um, that's why I'm not using a lot of fat and then from here I am just going to toss it with salt pepper and garlic
I'm also going to grate just a little bit of lemon over the top. I took the salmon out, I rinsed it, pat dried it. This is what we have, and I'm going to cut this into at least five pieces, but let's see what we have. have six six pieces one two three four five six and now I'm going to squeeze lots of lemon juice and then stick with the same thing salt pepper garlic over the top and then from there this is actually going into the air fryer Going inside of the air fryer, we're going to hit the fish button and instead of three, okay, so we're going to leave the temperature at 350, but we're kicking up a time. Let's try 12 minutes and see what it looks like. So the Brussels sprouts have all cooked. This is both bags and I just tossed in a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. No, no butter no oil or any of that but I recommend it if you are not trying to cut your calories as low as I am for this week um, you can add like olive oil or butter and that will enhance the flavor so the next thing that I'll be cooking um, is the shrimp so what I will do is use a little bit of butter in a pan and just saute these and these will be done so excited I think I've been in the kitchen for like 10 or 15 minutes now all right, so apparently I lied, like we don't have any butter. So I found this tartar sauce. <laughs> These are not, this is not a recipe. I am not telling you what to do, but it's a source of fat. So I'm going to use this to saute the shrimp. I'll probably regret it, but we'll see. And then also with some minced garlic. So the asparagus is done. You just wanted to cook until the tips are kind of brown. Or at least that's what I do. See? There's a container that I'm putting those in. The salmon also beat. Let's see. I've never done this before in the air fryer. Look good and it's done but I like my fish a little bit more done so another eight minutes is good for me oh it's so good you guys I couldn't help myself It 
it's really good great texture it's perfect so the shrimp is now done and you guys so i use that pan set type seasoning because i actually really like it but i haven't had those noodles since i stopped eating noodles but if i didn't have that i probably would have used this or like some type of old bay seasoning for shrimp into this container you guys i got this meal prep done in less than 30 minutes i may have a little bit of food in my teeth because i went ahead and tasted the salmon because i'm having it for dinner anyways tonight um i wanted to taste it before i told you guys like whether or not if you should cook it in the air fryer but it's a winner it is definitely a winner i'll be doing this moving forward for quite some time so i want to show you what i have so here we have the brussels sprouts asparagus um, I have, so this is two servings of protein. This is six, so that's eight servings of protein, which will get me through the week. Veggies for lunch. And then I have my four salads here, as well as some avocado and cilantro to make a dressing. And then my fruits for the week. My fruits for the week include um, the watermelon, um, pineapple, and I have some grapes. And if I need to, there's still um, apples in the refrigerator that I can use as well. And then for my snack food, in place of my popcorn, I'm using um, pickles for the week. And I have ginger here that I'll have each morning. I'll have some ginger root and some, some warm water with ginger root and lemon. Pretty good. This took less than 30 minutes. So this shows me that there's no excuse for not meal prepping. And for my breakfast, I'll have grits and eggs. So I have grits and two scrambled eggs and some fruit. And I've realized that the scrambled eggs are really easy to make, like they don't take much time at all. Um, I think what I'll do tomorrow is I'll film a day in the life or either either a day in the life or what I eat in a day video. So that way you guys can see all of this in action. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.